we are moving on to the next portion issue of debentures as collateral security see we have three sections in this chapter first is issue of debentures for cash and that means company will issue debentures will raise money will borrow money from the public that is first section which we completed the next we are going to discuss is debentures can be issued as collateral security now have you heard of collateral security at least in business studies you would have heard this term collateral security means uh, see suppose you are taking you means the company the company is taking a bank loan you will have to give a security normally the main security or the principal security given will be the assets of the company okay then in addition what you give as security is known as collateral security so collateral securities means additional securities which we give when you take a loan okay um, so here assets given as security is normally referred as principal or primary security whereas these debentures what we issue as additional security are known as collateral security so here are you getting any amount or are you borrowing money by issuing debentures no it is not like issuing debentures to the public why we are issuing debentures to the bank now it is just given as a security understood it is not by issuing debentures you are getting the amount it's not that situation here debentures is given only as an additional security while you obtain this bank loan uh, because first you would have mortgaged the assets mortgage of assets means uh, as a security you would have given your assets so as an additional security what you give now is these debentures so what's the use of this if the company uh, is not making the payment i mean if you are not able to repay this bank loan the bank can recover the amount by using these debentures because these debentures are with them assets are also with them they can sell off our assets similarly they can issue our debentures and get the amount okay so this is the purpose of debentures issued as collateral security it's just a small topic we have two methods under this first one you write first heading when a uh, journal entry is passed that means debentures issued as collateral security and when journal entry is passed that is the um, first one so you give the heading or we'll discuss journal entry not passed first so that will be easy for you when journal entry is not passed that means not recorded that you write first when journal entry is not passed that means not recorded in the books so there is no entry because the uh, heading itself says there is no entry in the first method now how to show this particular item i mean these debentures when they are issued as collateral security how to show this in your balance sheet we will see how to show this in the balance sheet you draw this format of balance sheet just like this balance sheet as at the first one equity and liabilities debentures will be written under which head in the balance sheet that you think first Deb actually what is debenture it is just like taking a bank loan isn't it normally debentures will be um, issued to the public and you will raise money so it is a borrowing for the company now we are not issuing debentures and raising money now debentures are being issued only as collateral now what is your liability actually the bank loan which we are taking that is the liability here okay so the bank loan is a long term liability it will come under the second head that is first head is actually a shareholders fund which we don't have in this question we don't have share capital and reserves and surplus uh, what we have is only the debentures or only the bank loan which we are taking so we will write that second heading you have seen such a heading no non current liabilities then we have current liabilities that's not needed here so non current liabilities we'll write then below that we can write long term 
borrowing. Which is the borrowing here? It is the bank loan you are borrowing, not number 1. Okay, uh, we will work out. Okay, as a specific question, they haven't given uh, any illustration. So, I'll just give you some imaginary figures. Okay, so this is how you have to start now. Uh, when you have issued debentures as collateral security, actually long term borrowing means is it the debenture we are borrowing? No, the borrowing here is the bank loan. Okay, then how to show debentures as collateral security? Uh, that is not shown in the balance sheet that we have to show in the note to account. So, balance sheet is over. We will start note to accounts. First one, long term borrowings below that, um, which is the long term borrowing here, are you going to write debentures here? No, that is not your borrowing, your borrowing is the bank loan. So you write term loan or loan from bank or simply you write bank loan, okay, bank loan you can write. What is the amount? Um, Okay, here they have taken one example. Okay, term loan from bank. Suppose you took bank loan of rupees um, 20 lakhs. Or you write uh, bank loan of rupees 10 lakhs. Now, within brackets, you must write like secured by issue of 1500 debentures of rupees 100 each 15000 debentures you take so it is uh, 1 lakh 50 15 lakhs okay uh, 100 each issued as collateral security This is how you have to write that collateral security inside the balance sheet. Okay, it is not affecting your bank loan actually. Bank loan we show 10 lakhs that is your liability. Within, bra within brackets we have to show secured by issue of 15,000 debentures of rupees 100 each issued as collateral security. Understood? This is how we have to shoot uh, collateral security in the first method. If the journal entry is not passed inside the balance sheet in not to accounts, we have to show, show this one within brackets. That's all. Um, bank loan will be shown only for rupees 10 lakhs, but we are issuing actually debentures of rupees 15 lakhs. It would be more than that. See. Uh, if you are taking only an amount of 10 lakhs, it is not like you are issuing debentures only for rupees 10 lakhs. What you give as security will be more than that. So, 15 lakhs is the value of debentures which we are giving them, but only the loan is being taken for 10 lakhs. It is not necessary that it would be the correct amount. It would be 10,000 debentures itself. Understood? It is not always like that. Um, so anyways, you can't issue for a lesser amount. It will be more than that or it will be equal to the amount of loan taken. So, this is how you have to show under first method. Then second method you write, okay, now this 10 lakhs you have to write in the balance sheet also. Just close this not to accounts. And inside the balance sheet you have to write this 10 lakhs against long term borrowings. You have to write this. 15 lakhs is not your borrowing. Uh, bank loan which we took is your borrowing that is 10 lakhs. 15 lakh is your security only. The next method is, second method is when journal entry is passed. So, we have a journal entry now. So, we are issuing debentures now. Uh, to whom? To the bank as security. So, when you issue debentures, the credit account must be 2 percentage debentures account. Okay, whenever you issue uh, debentures, you have to credit 
two percentage debentures. Whenever you issue shares, we will be crediting share capital. Similarly, whenever you issue debentures, you have to credit percentage debentures. Now, what will you debit? Which is the situation here? We are issuing debentures as collateral security. Uh, so, which uh, account we will debit? We have to debit an account like that is a new account that is debenture suspense account. Um, here we can't write bank account because we are not getting amount by issuing debentures. Uh, previously we issued debentures to the public, we raised money, that time we wrote bank account and all. But now we are not getting any amount. So what we have to open is a new account. It is debenture suspense account which is a temporary account opened at the time of debentures being issued as security. Uh, when the loan is repaid, what will you do? You don't have to maintain the suspense account. You will cancel it. That time you will write the reverse. Debentures debted to 10 percentage debentures or percentage debentures debted to debenture suspense. When you repay. When you issue, this is what you have to learn. Debenture suspense debted to percentage debentures account. Okay. Then how to show this situation in the balance sheet? I mean, uh, first method we just showed within brackets because no entry was there. Now when there is an entry, how to show this particular item in the balance sheet? So you write balance sheet as at. The balance sheet format is just similar to the previous method. Particulars, not number and amount. Only the note to accounts will vary. So here we have equity and uh, liabilities. Shareholders fund we don't have. So only non-current liabilities below that. Long term borrowings against which you write not number 1. So, this balance sheet is over. <coughs> Next, we will do not to accounts. Particulars and amount column. We are taking the same values here also. So, long term borrowings below that we have to write term loan from bank ok term loan from bank we will take the same figure imaginary figure that is 10 lakhs so we wrote so much ok sorry uh, in this method in this method you write the 10 lakhs here the term loan from bank is 10 lakhs now what we have to do is we have issued debentures and in previous method we just showed within brackets that we issued 15,000 debentures and all now what we have to write is 15,000 uh, always attach the rate of interest suppose the rate of interest you take as 10 percentage okay that's just an assumption 15,000 10 percentage debentures of rupees 100 each issued as collateral security so now the figure will be 15 lakhs 15 lakhs is the uh, amount for which you have issued debentures from that there is something which we have to deduct and show that is debenture suspense account that is again 15 lakhs so outer column it will be nil and this bank loan only you need to take actually that is 10 lakhs. The 10 lakhs that you directly write in the outer column because nothing we are doing with that figure. And it is nil here. So again, the bank loan figure will be 10 lakhs which we have to show in the balance sheet. Okay, so what did we do now? We wrote term loan from bank 10 lakhs as usual just like previous method. Then instead of writing within brackets, we are showing like this. That is 10 plus 10,000, uh, sorry 15,000. 10 percentage debentures 
of rupees 100 each issued as collateral security. So, the amount is 15 lakhs which you show in the inner column. Previous method we did in right like this, we just showed within brackets, figure we did in right. Then what we have to do is less debenture suspense account. See, um, this loan when you show or the liability when you show in the balance sheet, it is just rupees 10 lakhs you have to show. Because the 15 lakhs is not a liability, it is given as a security while you obtain the loan. So, the loan amount is just 10 lakhs while you show in the balance sheet, don't show this 15 lakhs. So, this 15 lakhs from that figure, you have to less debenture suspense account which we have opened. While you issue debentures, you have opened this account like debenture suspense account. For rupees 15 lakhs you have opened. So, that account we will show as a deduction. Okay, this is how we have to do the um, collateral security under second method. So, again outer column it will be nil. Finally, the bank loan will be just rupees 10 lakhs. This 10 lakhs now you have to show in the balance sheet. So, again under two methods the answer will be C, answer will be 10 lakhs but the way you show is different. Here we are showing less debenture suspense account because this 15 lakhs if you show in the outer column your total liability will become 25 but your liability is just 10 lakhs the amount of loan. This is shown as a deduction because this is just a temporary account opened at the time of issue of debentures as collateral security. L later when you repay this loan, you will have to cancel, you will show it as a deduction. Okay, so show this as a deduction, loan amount will be just 10 lakhs rupees. Then there is a portion uh, like when you do not repay the loan amount, what will happen? Okay, uh, so we will work out illustration 21. That is Z limited issued 10,000 debentures issued as collateral security for a loan of rupees 8 lakhs from Dena Bank. So, you have taken a loan of 8 lakhs. Company unable to pay the loan, repay the loan on which interest payable is 2 lakhs. We could not repay the loan amount, we could not repay the interest also. Dena Bank exercised the right vested in it by way of debentures issued as collateral security. What is the meaning of that? They exercised their right means they would have recovered the loan amount by taking our debentures. We had issued them debentures that is just a security. But now since the company is unable to pay the amount, the bank loan amount, they are taking our debentures. Okay, they will not return our debentures, the bank will take our debentures. So, we are asked to write journal entries for that. So, we will see how to write the journal entries in this situation. This is illustration number 21. Draw the format and you give the column headings and all. Okay, now what is happening? Are we issuing debentures as collateral security? No, that already happened in the company. Now the reverse we have to write because we are unable to repay the loan amount. So, you have credited percentage debentures earlier. Now we will have to debit it. We will have to write the reverse entry. That is what is the percentage here? Uh, it is 10 percentage debentures account debtor to debenture suspense account. Earlier when you issued as collateral, you wrote debenture suspense to percentage debentures. We know that percentage debentures must be credited. But when you are unable to repay the loan amount, what will they do? They will take these debentures. They will take these debentures and they might issue these debentures to recover the loan amount. So, that time what we have to be means the company what they record in their books, company is recording this entry in company's books. That is 10 percentage debentures which we issued earlier, now it has become um, the debenture of bank. So, we have to write the reverse entry in this situation and the amount of debentures what we issued is 10,000 into 100, isn't it? It is written 10,000 debentures of 100 each. So, that is 
टेन लाख रुपीज सो राइट द नरेशन एंड देन ओके सो नाउ वी कैंसल डेट सिंस वी आर अनेबल टू रीपे we have to write this entry when we issued you would have written debenture suspense to percentage debentures next is shouldn't they get the amount isn't it shouldn't they cancel the loan amount and all loan account and all because when you took the bank loan you would have written one entry like bank account debited to bank loan account now what is happening that loan account we have to cancel from our books because loan is getting cancelled not because you are paying the amount but because the Uh, bank has taken our debentures and thus the loan account will get cancelled we are not paying anything because we are unable to pay but their loan account will get closed because they have taken our debentures and they will close the loan account so in your books in company's books also loan account must be closed so how will you close loan account at the time of taking loan loan would have credited It's because that time it was a liability now it is being debited we are cancelling it at the same time we have to close one more that is there is interest in the question right yeah outstanding interest is there we couldn't pay the interest also that's why it's called outstanding so that outstanding interest also we are closing because for all these the bank has taken debentures so it is just like we issued debentures for settling the loan okay 10 percentage is the rate yes why we wrote loan account debtor and all it is just like repayment of loan we haven't paid in cash or by check we haven't paid anything so we can't write to bank but we have given debentures which they are taking now okay that's why it's written two percentage debentures instead of bank it is a debentures we have given then loan and outstanding interest will get closed so these two we have to debit now earlier it would have credited then loan amount is given in the question like 8 lakhs and interest amount is given to 2 lakhs so all these figures directly given so here it will be 10 lakhs so this is how you have to write journal entries when the company is unable to repay the loan amount first you have to cancel that issued entry second you have to cancel the loan account and all that means we are settling the loan by issuing debentures um there is one more topic you give the heading uh, issue of debentures for consideration other than cash the same topic we discussed under shares chapter here also we have the same entries nothing new for you to learn okay you give the heading issue of debentures for consideration other than cash what's the meaning of that you remember we studied in shares chapter uh, you purchased a building or you purchased a fixed asset instead of giving them cash we would have issued shares in that chapter now we would have issued debentures okay that's the meaning of issue of debentures for consideration uh, other than cash the entries are same uh, suppose you purchased a building what's the entry you are going to write building account debited to we wrote vendors account you remember in that chapter the same thing we can write here then when you issued them debentures you have to write second entry vendors account debited to not share capital now we have to write two percentage debentures if it is issued at premium you write to spr if it is issued at discount you debit discount on issue of debentures when you write the second entry so it's the same thing you are uh, doing um then when you uh, purchase um, a building sorry when you purchase a business you remember the compound entry that is assets account debtor two liabilities then we'll write two vendors and if the shortage is on the debit side you open goodwill account shortage is on credit side you open capital reserve the same thing we have there is no difference it's given on page number 9.17 you write all those entries in this chapter also do it the same you write that only instead of two share capital you write two percentage debentures that's only difference then how will you compute number of debentures issued that will be equal to purchase consideration by issue price issue price means if it is premium you have to add it if it is discount you have to less it so i'm not uh, writing it again because it's the same topic but you write it in your notebook you write the entries 
we have sections like when issue of debentures um, when issue of debent sorry issue of debentures to uh, promoters that also we have discussed in shares chapter like formation expenses debtor to promoters later when you issue it will be promoters debtor to percentage debentures so all those entries you just copy from your textbook page number 9.17 to 9.19 they have given these entries though you know the entries you write it once again there is no problem with that um, i'll just show you illustration 15 based on this topic that is again journal entry question You purchased a piece of land. You means the name is given uh, Len, Lemon Tree Limited. Okay, that is the name of your company. And you purchased from JSS Limited. That is the vendor. Consideration is paid as follows. Okay, the land is what we are purchasing. So, you write land account debtor to vendor's name. Vendor's name here is JSS Limited. And always against vendor's name, you must write the purchase consideration. Purchase consideration here is Okay, the purchase consideration, um, they haven't written directly, isn't it? But you can just add and take the figures. Um, okay, so we'll do one thing. We'll just write the second entry and add the figures. So that we'll get the purchase consideration. It's not directly given what's the amount uh, for which you purchase. So the second one. We are settling the vendor, so JSS limited account debtor to, it's not simply debentures we are issuing, first you have issued a check, so you write to bank. We have done similar questions in the chapter shares also, so 10 lakhs. Um, okay, then we have issued a bill of exchange, that's called bills payable, saying that we will pay after 3 months, so that's bills payable. The amount is uh, 5 lakhs. Then issued 5000 debentures at par. Redeemable at premium means you have to open two accounts. One is premium on redemption. The other is loss on issue. So here also you have to debit one account. So what are we issuing? We are issuing debentures. So you must write that first to 9 percentage debentures account. And the redemption is being done at premium. So you write two premium on redemption on the credit side and on the debit side you write loss on issue of debentures. Now we'll write the amounts. Uh, nine percentage debentures I have told you this will take always the total face value. Here what is the face value? 5000 into 5000 debentures of 100 each. So 5000 into 100 that is 5 lakh rupees will be the total face value. Then we have premium of 10 percentage. The 10 percentage you will compute on 100 rupee. So 10 is the premium. So 5000 into 10, the premium amount will be 50,000. And loss also will be 50,000. Now the balance you can write for JSS Limited. Usually purchase consideration will be written here. Here we don't have purchase consideration specified in the question. So what you have to do is just fill all other figures and take the balance for JSS Limited. That balance will be 20 lakhs. The same amount you can write in the first entry. Question is not over. Whenever you open the loss account or the discount account, what did I tell you? You have to write it off. So write the writing of entry that is statement of Piantel account debtor to loss on issue of debentures. What is loss on issue amount? It's 50,000. Now the question is over. So writing of entry also you must uh, write. That you must remember. Understood? Uh, so with this we are winding up the chapter. This 
topic is just similar to shares chapter so same questions you will get same type of questions you will get you can just go through those illustration questions given but you will be able to do because already you have studied the same in shares chapter so these are the three topics you need to learn this chapter issue of debentures for cash issue of debentures as collateral security and issue of debentures for consideration other than cash then we learn debenture interest with tds payable and the writing of also these are the portions we learned in this chapter